Okay, so this is new brooder, um, outdoor brooder, well, garage brooder, made by PVC pipe and the plastic hardware cloth uh, with black zip ties. So just used elbows and T connectors for the PVC. And it's time to move the ducks in here. I have them in this pool, um, hoping that they'll be able to keep some of the water off of them and then have a dry spot. That over there is a um, heater, um, a coop heater. It also doubles as a um, warming plate brooder heater. So you just put in different feet and flip it um, upside down. It's producer's pride one for tractor supply. Um, and then I have my uh, almost four week old ducks and they're such good little duck ducks and you guys are gonna enjoy your nice new little brooder aren't ya is that gonna be fun so i have most of them about the same age these other ones are about like a week behind and they grow so fast and these are magpie ducks um we have got one with a little crest so we'll see if we can get these guys in here i do handle them a lot so you can see they're not scared when i reach my hands in here they're good little peepers. Hey, good babes. They do less nibbling than they did when they are older, but they're hungry. So hopefully they can find their food and water and they can get up to their pool and their ramp. I know they can jump out of that because that's what I was brooding them in the basement, a bigger one of those, and they just hop right out. So I just hope they can get back in for their water and we'll find out. All right, you guys ready? Who wants to be the first brave one? Do be brave. Okay, put you in here. There you go. All right, let's get you brother in here. Well, I don't know if they're boys or girls yet till they're older. There you guys go. There you are. You're such good little pee peeps. I don't know if they'll be able to use this ramp or not. There we go. All right, little peep peeps. There you go. They're so thick. There they are. Now they're exploring. Such good little peepers. Raised ducks before and they weren't as friendly, so you just gotta handle them a lot. There you go. And just you. You with the cute little black bill. You're just so cute. I know you're swimming, huh? We need to let you swim to clean off. There you go. Alright, looks like they found the food. You guys found the warming plate. What do you think? What do you think, guys? How are you going to get in the pool? The pool is just to uh, keep it from getting, from getting water all over the entire place. We'll sit here and watch these guys for a second. I might have gotten some poop on my hands. It's okay. You guys found the food? Beer is fine, right? I hope they stay warm enough with that heater. I could put a heat lamp over them, but it tends to be better for their eyes and stuff if they have a plate. And it's pretty warm out, in, out here. It's about... It's at least 70 in the garage, so it's not too cold or anything. Um, you could enclose this type of enclosure and not fold over the sides um, just by connecting pieces to the top. I didn't need to because ducks can't really fly out of here. It just makes it easier to step in. And they love biting the cornstarch styrofoam over there. won't hurt them. They don't actually eat it. I just play with it. And they like playing with the potty pads. There is underneath this um, painter's plastic. It's a 3.5 mil thickness. 
Um, I do also have Kix over in the brooder over there. Who's making all that noise. And some quarantine Polish frizzles over in here, so... I'll go out with the other guys later. Okay, you found 